Now it's been a while since I talked about some of my favorite plants, but this is the time of year to talk about this one. Now it might look like I've just, there's a whole pile of bramble behind us and it's just chaos. But actually this plant here, uh, growing up the wires, which were originally put there for a Morello cherry, which sadly wasn't happy there and it died. And I just saw an opportunity because this particular plant is one that is easy to propagate. It's very productive and it's called Sylvanberry. So Sylvanberry is, is a kind of blackberry. It's a cross between apparently a Marion berry um, and a Pacific crossed boysenberry seedling. Anyway, that's the most important thing is that it's amazing. And it's, as I say, easy to propagate, big, delicious fruit. And you can see the size of this one. Well, the most important thing to say about this is this is in a very shady place on a north facing wall. As you can see where the sun is, this gets a little bit of sun in the morning and a little bit in the afternoon, but that's it. And it's still massive. This sylvanberry that we're growing over the 700 litre tank, uh, it's just superb. We've been picking from this for several weeks and it just makes these ridiculously big, delicious, slightly sharp berries, great for freezing and all kinds of things, eating fresh and storing. The only downside is they're a bit prickly, but they're very vigorous, they're easy to propagate, they fruit profusely and the fruit is delicious. And uh, this one here, this is the bit that's going to produce next year's fruit. So we need to tie that in at some point. But for now, having access to this, the birds love them a bit too, not hugely. They produce so much that they just can't keep up. I really do wonder why these are not more widely available, because if you try and find them in the shops, you're not going to probably maybe the odd specialist nursery but if you can find somebody who's got one they're really easy as i say really easy to propagate um, what you'll find is they make these long triffids <laughs> um, here's one in fact it looks like the ends got broken off or it's got it's tried to root into the corner here but this comes all the way from over here what's this already three meters or something and this is off to find some soil to root into and when it does what it will do is it will make roots like this so uh, this is the previous cane is rooted in here it's made lots of roots um, just like any other bramble would do blackberry would do and then once you've got roots in there you can cut this off so we'll just find a pot or a tray uh, when they do this a plant tray uh, seed tray is a good thing but just put some soil compost in it and let's sit it on top and it will root and then you've got a plant that you can also share with others something that's going to fruit early because normal blackberries we're talking probably heading into middle end of august september whereas silverberry will fruit end of june we're getting the end of june early july for at least we've been harvesting for four weeks now um, fantastic fruit put a lot in the freezer and so we're eating it with breakfast and everything. So highly recommended, Sylvanberry. Um, get hold of one if you can, as long as you've got the space for it and you don't mind a little bit of prickle.